Say good morning. <laughs> good morning, guys. This is what I do. This is this is how I get woken up every morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Oh, we're making biscuits now. I literally just woke up. My eyes are like peeling open, but I wanted to record this. I remembered this last night because this is so cute. And this is my favorite part of the day. Waking up with my babies. You're so cute. Take a morning. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I just fed the kitties and I'm about to go get ready, but I want to start the vlog off. I It's currently 10 a.m. I woke up at like I woke up like an hour ago and there's just like chilling laying around feeding my cats uh, but right now I'm gonna go get ready because I am going to New York City for the day and we're going to some party later so I'm gonna just literally wear what I'm wearing to the party all day which is fine because like the parties aren't like like super crazy where you have to wear like a cocktail dress the type of party that I'm going to is very like chill and like vibey and no one really cares about what you're wearing there. But not that I care what people are. Not that I care if people care. I just like to dress the part, you know what I mean? Not that I am. You know what, fuck it. I'm not even dressed the part to this party, to be honest. I'm overdressed for the party. But you know what's so annoying? Is that, okay, like, you know what's so annoying? Is I want to wear this outfit with heels. Like I already picked up my outfit. I want to wear this outfit with heels, but uh, first of all, I'm not going to be walking around New York City in heels. And second of all, I'm not standing around in a party with heels. Like, how do you guys do it? I mean, I could do it like sometimes where I can like sit down and stuff or like if I'm not wearing them for that long, but I know that like these parties go until like 10 a.m. So I'm not wearing heels and also just for the sake of my friend to not hear me bitch and complain about my feet i'm gonna wear sneakers you're welcome um yeah so <laughs> that's just my little rant this morning because heels just make any outfit look cuter but they are so painful like how do the kardashians do it i don't get it but anyway i'm gonna go get ready i'm gonna shower do my makeup hair everything Take you guys with me. Alright, I'm gonna start getting ready now. I am not gonna like go through everything in detail. I'm just like gonna have you guys get ready with me. If you guys do want like an updated makeup routine, let me know. I could definitely do that for you guys. Um, it's pretty much the same, just like some things have changed. I just did my eyebrows. The key to using this Anastasia, I'm just gonna say this like in every time I'm doing my video or every time. I do my makeup because I get so many questions about how I get my eyebrows the way I do. And I know it's just because people are using this wrong. But I use the Anastasia Dip Brow, or the Anastasia Brow Freeze. And I just use a spoolie. But the key to getting this to work is to make sure that your face is so dry. Like literally, like I go in the shower, I wash my face, and I get out. And the first thing that I do when my face is dry is start my eyebrows and let the um, wax get tacky and um, then go back and shape it. And literally, like, if you have any type of moisturizer or oil on your face, it's not going to stick. And you're literally gonna be sitting there, like, giving yourself more wrinkles trying to get this product to stick. Once my eyebrows are done, then I go with my moisturizer. Because, guys, I don't know what it is, but, that's the key to the eyebrows. That's the best advice I can give you on that. And also when you put your uh, moisturizer on after, make sure you like just stay away from that. But guys, it is so, my skin is so dry. During the winter, my skin gets so freaking dry that it, like, you know, in the summer I want to take a shower and I wash my face and I get out. My skin's not like super dry. But now my skin gets so dry after the shower, which I'm actually gonna put double moisturizer on just because I'm gonna be walking around outside all day and I do not want like anything flaking off. Let me go get this other moisturizer. 
Actually, I left it at my friend's house, so we're just gonna use this moisturizer, but yeah, I need like a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm actually just gonna even add more because my skin is so freaking dry. But yeah, today I'm going to New York. I'm not sure. We don't really have a plan to like what we're doing other than later. We're going to some party. You guys have seen a couple of the parties that I've gone to in New York. Like it's like the same vibe as like the Halloween one, which was actually so much fun. I feel like I haven't been able to come on here and like talk about that one, but oh my gosh, the Halloween party was, oh my God, it was so much fun. I literally had it was just like everything that you would have ever wanted out of like a Halloween party. Like it wasn't like you're just going to a nightclub and like seeing a bunch of people in costumes. Like, no, like it was like Halloween themed. Like they had like little actors walking around. They had little like activities to do. And it was just so freaking cool and such an amazing experience. Such a really cool experience. I don't know, I had so much fun. And I would have never thought to go to something like that. But my friends like always go to these parties my friend always goes to these parties so they knew about it but i've never like thought about it but i would have never known and i think that honestly i went to the best party like i really do i genuinely like do not regret going at all that was so much fun I literally like trying to moisturize the fuck out of my face. So this is like uh, the Dr. Gray, Dr. Jard's like color correcting uh, tinted color correcting like moisturizer. Um, I've been using this because I really do not like face makeup. Like I don't think it sets well with my skin skin i think it looks like so cakey on me i literally look like the peanut butter baby so i was like trying to find something that would um that would work kind of like the same way because even like a cc cream is like a little too thick for me and i was just gonna get like a tinted moisturizer and then i was like you know let me try this out um but I like it so far. I think honestly, like recently though, like I have so much breakouts that I should get something a little bit more full coverage. But actually, I don't really care. Like when I do my makeup, I kind of like when my acne, like my um, like blemishes show through a little bit. Like I don't want them red, but like where you can see that, you know, I, you know, have I don't want perfect skin. I like that because I feel like it makes it look like your. It doesn't look as like like you have makeup on your face, you know. Okay, so pretty much all of that is as good as it's gonna get. I feel like lately I've been partying in New York more than I have in Philly. Honestly, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, Okay, before, like, when I first started partying in Philly, it was really fun. Um, the crowds were, like, good, good mixy, like, a good mix of, like, a good vibe. And, like, now, it's so fucking ghetto. Like, people literally are getting shot, like, pulling up with their guns, like, shooting people outside. Like, it's just not fun. Like, there were literally, like, three women that were shot. Um, outside of a, a, like a club. And it's just like these clubs aren't ghetto. Like these clubs are clubs that I used to go to all the time. It's just the crowd is getting so ghetto and like people, and, and it's just fucking, you know, Philly crime, you know what? You know what I'm saying? But like, it's just not fun anymore. Like I don't want to risk my life just for a night of fun. And like for me, like I don't, for me, like my type of crowd is like a good, mix like i don't care what you do with the club go ahead you want to be loud crazy whatever like go for it it's, it's your night like i'm i don't care i'm not gonna judge you but when like i literally like can't walk to the bathroom without being touched like no i don't want to go out anymore like you're weird and i don't want to go out like sometimes like okay for example me and my friends were out 
and well, me and my friend were out, and we're like sitting there. And the guy comes up and he um comes to talk to us, and I was like, he was like asking our name. Like we were, we knew what he was doing, you know. And I was like, if I'm being honest, like we're just we're just talking, like we're just vibing alone, like we don't really want to like have a small talk. Walks away. Okay, good. Not even two minutes later, someone else comes by, does the same thing. I said, I'm just gonna let you know, I'm just gonna let you save your breath. We're not looking for any small conversation, we're literally just trying to chill by ourselves. Then, by like the fifth, like the fourth person, this guy comes over and goes, yo, I just watched you guys dub like five different guys, or four different guys, and I was like, yeah, and you're the fifth one. We're just trying to vibe on our own, like honestly, like we're not looking for guys. We're not looking for guys. We literally came here to hang out with each other. Like, we are not looking for guys. Like, I just don't. And it's just like, bro, like, sometimes, like, and before, like, people would really just, like, mind their fucking business and just, like, leave you the fuck alone. And now it's like, you walk to the bathroom and they're trying to cop a feel. Or like, ew, I was, it was Halloween. Ew, I was at this club. It was actually my friend's club, too. And I'm at the bar. I'm waiting for a drink. This guy was like, saying hi. I just said hi. You know, I was being nice, whatever. And then I turned around to talk to my friends. Like, I was like, all right, like, I'm kind of like giving you my shoulder, like letting you know, like, I don't want a conversation with you. So whatever. We weren't talk. We like literally said hi, introduced ourselves, and that was it. And then I just turned around. Um, and then my friend was like, let's go over to the guy with the photographer, like the photographer guy and take a picture on there. Um, so we went to go take a picture. And as I'm taking the picture, I feel this guy grabbing my ass. And I said, did I fucking say you could touch me? Just because we had a one, one minute conversation of hi, and my name is, does not mean that you get to touch me. And he's like sitting there smiling, thinking that he's fucking cute for it. Like, you're not fucking cute, you're weird. You're weird as fuck. <laughs> weird as fuck. Like, that alone would never let me, would make me never talk to you. Like, I would never surround myself with a guy that does that shit to girls in the club. Like, that's that shit's not fucking cute. I don't think it's cute. I don't think it's hot. I don't think that you're trying to bag me. Ew. Absolutely not. It's just crazy to me. Like, I don't know. So, I've been going to New York a lot recently, and these parties are, like, different different type of music obviously so the crowd's different but like yeah honestly like I like rap hip-hop music I really like that and it used to be so much fun and now it's just like it's just so fucking trashy and ghetto and like I is in Philly in Philly the, the clubs at New York that play the music are still good it's just Philly it's so bad and it's like not enjoyable and I like literally want to leave like at the time and honestly like I that's like my type of music like I like you know dancing drinking to that whatever but recently like my friend they he listens to like like pro I guess it's progressive house I still don't really fucking know what it is it's not like my favorite type of music honestly it sounds like the music that I put in my videos <laughs> so when I go I'm like okay like whatever but you know when you're like fucked up like it anything sounds good um but the thing that i do like about these parties is the vibe of the people everybody minds their business no one's trying to talk to you no one's trying to like touch you crap cop a feel like everybody is in their own world enjoying the music enjoying the vibe and that's how it should be that's literally how it should be so honestly recently just going out i've been saving like my energy my you know <laughs> the toxins to put in my body to, um, for like parties. I, I look for the vibe more than the music now, which is sad because I like listening to good music. It's just, you can't, you can't go to like a nice club and enjoy yourself. Okay. I'm all ready. Well, hair and makeup's done, first of all. I need to put this back on because I'm cold and now now I'm gonna make some leftover lasagna to eat because we're probably leaving in about an hour and a half like an hour so I want to eat before I go for sure 
and then I'm gonna stop and get coffee, I think, before I go meet up with him. Um, because I think I'm gonna wait to go get coffee until I leave to go get him. I think I'm gonna wait to go get coffee until I leave to go meet him, but, and then just like focus on drinking water right now because that is something that I do before I go out and drink is I need to make sure that I drink a shit ton of water because I do not wanna be in the situation where I'm like dehydrated all day and we're gonna be walking around a lot as well so I just wanna make sure that I'm hydrated. Also, I had an outfit picked out last night and honestly I, don't know if it's gonna be what I'm wearing because I really because I really oh, it's so dark. I don't know if it's the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing because I'm not like in love with it. I might change the shirt or like do something else with it, but I'll show you guys regardless. Um, this is how my hair turned out. So cute. I was gonna straighten it, but then I was like, you know what? No, we're gonna curl it today. Give a little bit of volume. And I actually like the way it turned out. Usually when I curl my hair, I end up putting it to the side because it gets all like messed up up here. But I've been trying like a different technique to curling my hair and I think I like it. I also need to put um, lip stuff on, so just ignore that. But eat my food I'm gonna get my stuff together and then we're gonna go so these are the pants that I'm gonna be wearing these are from Zara I just got them they're so cute they're like this silky gray cargo I just don't know what shirt to wear with it so I had the idea of this shirt like a little monochromatic Outfit, but I think I was just trying it on. I was just super bloated last night and I wasn't really feeling it. And I was thinking like maybe this. But then I woke up this morning and I was like, eh, I don't know if I really fucking like it. But I'm gonna try it on and we're gonna see what it looks like this morning because maybe it will look different. I think I was just like insanely bloated last night when I tried the outfit on and I was just like wasn't feeling the vibe. So let's see if it's any different. So this shirt, I actually, I'm kind of feeling it. I like the like super matchy, matchy vibe with it. I feel like now that my hair is done, it looks a lot better. Um, and then the only thing that, so I actually, I actually am going to wear this. I feel like I actually like it today. The only thing that was pissing me off last night was the shoes. But I came to the senses that I'm gonna wear my McQueen's because when I put the coat on with it, it all looks right together. But it's just like something with like, I'm gonna wear sneakers. I don't wanna wear fucking sneakers. Nor my McQueen's, because I feel like that's the only shoe that will look like sneaker that will look right that I have. Because I feel like the Yeezys just look too, like too casual. And I'm not like trying to go for that vibe. I feel like that's like two different vibes going on. Um, and I wanna like keep it like classy because my coat is like very nice. Um, okay. Yeah, so I wanna keep it super classy. And I'm gonna put the shoes on and then I'll show you guys. Okay. All right, this is the fit. I'm not like super happy with it, you know? I feel like it's good for the day, but like at night, it's just like not gonna work, but whatever. I, I'm not changing <laughs> like in the middle of New York, um, but I think it works for now. I'm not really like loving the shoe choice. I, it's just like, it feels like it's not my vibe. I would wear, Honestly, like I probably wouldn't wear this. Honestly, actually, no, I like it. I like it. It's giving very European. I think I just, I think I just don't like it without the coat. I like it with the coat, but without the coat, it just looks a little off. But most of the day I'm gonna be wearing this coat, so it doesn't really matter. 
Um, and then for the party, I'll just go check it. But let me give you all the details. This coat is from Switzerland. It's from the brand Max Mara. Um, I got it from a, the store there. Um, so I'm not sure like how available it is. Then this top is from White Fox. Pants, Zara, and the shoes are from Queens. But yeah, that's the fit. I am gonna run and go grab some coffee right now, put everything in the car, and then I'm gonna head over and meet my friend. And then we're gonna go to New York. <laughs> Thank you.